Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I just decided to make a little video about why I chose CMU. I'm a freshman here uh, this past fall of 2021 and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit uh, out of all schools in the country why I chose here. Okay, so let me give you guys like a little backstory. So I applied to at least 13, somewhere between 13 and 16 schools. I can't quite remember. Um, most of them were in the Midwest um, and when I was thinking about colleges, I was thinking I wanted to stay fairly close to my home. So like six to eight hours was what I was thinking because my sister only went four hours away. One day I was just thinking and I asked my mom, I was like, is it crazy to want to go out to Colorado? Like, is it crazy to look at colleges out there? Because that's pretty freaking far away from home. I was like, that's kind of crazy because sister's only four hours away. Colorado is really far, but I think it would be extremely fun. I applied to a few schools out here. I think I applied to Western, UNC, CMU. I can't remember if I ended up applying to Adams. I don't think I did. I literally just googled like schools with good photography programs in Colorado and those are ones that kind of came up. It's kind of funny how I found CMU because I didn't like I've never heard of it before and I didn't like grow up thinking about it but yeah that's kind of how I found it. Picking these schools was honestly it was really stressful like narrowing it down and I wanted to visit but obviously COVID babies, um, COVID seniors, love that. Um, you really couldn't tour for a while and even if you could tour it was an empty campus so it was kind of really hard to get a vibe for what like kind of school you wanted and like get like the campus atmosphere and stuff. Luckily in February of 2021 my mom and I got to make like a 48 hour trip out here because at this point CNU and UNC were becoming top schools. I had two closer to home and two out here. So I really wanted to try to visit if we could before I committed. And so we took a 48 hour trip out here. We flew into Denver, drove to Grand Junction, toured CMU, and then drove to Greeley, toured UNC, and then got an airplane and went home. It was a crazy like 48 hours, but it was so fun. The last time I'd been to Colorado was when I was eight. So it's very different um, than I remember. Well, actually, I didn't remember that much, but um, I absolutely fell in love with uh, CMU's campus, and I will tell you a little bit more about that in a second. Then I had narrowed it down to two schools, and it was Murray State in Kentucky, and then CMU out here in Colorado. And so now it was basically just a game of who was going to give me more money scholarship-wise. I worked my butt off for so many scholarships. Like I applied to all the scholarships that I could. I was going on their website, making sure I applied to all those, like outside scholarships, like I was doing everything because I wanted to make sure that I had enough money to go to each school. As I was going through the scholarship process and really thinking about college, I was really pulling for CMU. And that is what school I really wanted to go to. I was kind of painting a picture of what my life would be like at both schools. I tried not to do it that much because I wanted to keep an open mind, but it's kind of thinking about my life out here and like what I'd want um, and seeing you just sounded great to me. Oh, I forgot to mention this earlier. When I was applying to schools, I really didn't apply to that many Missouri schools. I applied to two in Missouri because my mom made me and then all the other ones were either like in Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio. Yeah, I think that was basically where I applied to and then obviously Colorado. Applying to CMU was actually fairly easy. My mom from my older sister had learned tricks that if you um, email them, sometimes they'll give you a discount code to waive the application fee. But I also know, I think in the fall and the spring, maybe it's just fall, I don't know, don't quote me on that. But there's like a free application week that you can apply, so try to get those because yes I applied to a lot of schools but I didn't pay for applications for most of them because most of them had a fee waiver. I can't remember exactly when I heard back from CMU but I know it was in a pretty timely manner. It didn't take forever. I actually really don't know how fast I heard back from but obviously soon enough because I tried to apply early so that I could try to like work on scholarship stuff pretty early. Okay so Walking onto CMU's campus was beautiful. We took the drive from Denver to Grand Junction, and if you've ever done that, it is so pretty, like straight through the mountains. I fell in love, there was snow on it. I, I'm a photography major, so I like had my head out the window. I love my camera. I was like taking pictures of my mom's like, get your head in, like we're about to pass a car. 
Anyways, it was really fun, very pretty. We actually drove it at night and I was still like amazed by the mountains. I was like, look at that outline. My mom's like, I'm driving. We drove there, it was night, so I couldn't see it as much, but on our way back, I saw it and it was beautiful. But stepping onto CMU's campus, it was really pretty. A lot of the buildings kind of look similar, um, but we got a tour. We got to see the students on campus, which was really nice to get a vibe. I really liked, it was a medium-sized school. So we have like 11,000 undergrad, which honestly I really like because it's not too big, but it's not too small. And the campus, I had walked onto some of the other campuses and they felt either really like way too big that you have to like take a bus system to get to classes or it'd be a forever long walk or some campuses it was like a square. And it seemed small to me when I visited. So I thought it would be small once I actually got there, but CMU, Still to this day, I really like the size of the campus because it's not tiny, but it's not like huge that it takes forever. Since I applied and toured a lot of schools, my biggest tip is when you're touring, like right after, either take a video of your thoughts or like write notes down um, on your phone or something to keep track of like what you like and stuff if you're applying to a lot of schools, especially because it kind of helps you like keep in mind like what do you really like? Like how did you actually feel after it? I, for the longest time, I was trying to keep it a secret, kind of like, oh, I really want to go to this school because I just thought it was still kind of crazy that Colorado is really far away, especially Grand Junction. It's on the opposite side. So it's like 16 hours from home. But my mom could tell, she was like, Sophie, like when, like after we are done, I could tell that you really liked that campus. So let me tell you what really got me and drew me in. So I am a photography major. I'm doing the animation, film, photography, and motion design major and yeah, I'm just starting to get in some classes for that, so I'm very excited, but that was enticing to me, and also I heard that there in downtown Grand Junction, there's like art galleries that students can sell art to, so like for future, that like seemed really great to me. They had a tons of outdoor stuff, like Grand Junction is a great location for things to do outdoors. We have an outdoor program that takes um, weekend trips led by students, or there's like daily things that they do, but Grand Junction is such a central location that like they're skiing 40 minutes away, there's arches an hour and a half, like there's so much to do within like this radius of Grand Junction. So taking advantage of outdoor things was definitely a big factor. Like we have the monument maybe like 20 minutes away, depending on where you go in it. It's beautiful. I love it up there. Oh, not to mention, okay, so a lot of people who come to Grand Junction are from like the Denver area. There is a lot of people who like came to CMU because it's a fairly cheap school for people living in Colorado and even out of state, um, it's fairly affordable. Um, I have the Mountains and Plains Scholarship here because I live in Missouri, but there's also the WUI for the Western side. When I was touring a lot of the college towns, it was a lot bigger than some of the college towns I was looking at. And people will be like, Grand Junction small. And yes, it kind of is, but it is also a lot bigger of a town than most of the schools I was looking at. Most of the schools I was looking at had like one main street, but Grand Junction is honestly a lot bigger than some of the other college towns. Also, there is lots of sports and clubs and activities to get involved in here. So that was something that I really wanted was to get involved a lot in this freshman year I have. There's a lot of Christian groups um, and actually the ones that I saw online and stuff when I was looking more, it was funny because the group I actually joined wasn't, I didn't even know about it until um, the first club fair. And so yeah, I've really been enjoying that. There was Greek life and I didn't know if I wanted to join Greek life, but I gave it a shot and I really do like it. I'm in Alpha Sigma Alpha, so that's been pretty fun. They also had the cheer team here which asked me no i did not base my college decision off of um if they had cheer or not because i wasn't even 100 percent sure if i wanted to cheer in college but i tried out made the team and i was like we'll try it for one year we'll kind of see where it goes but i really like it we're preparing for nationals now okay so if you were to ask me before i visited both schools in colorado i would have probably committed to unc just from the grocery i loved it and everything but i toured it and coming from grand junction driving through the mountains it just, I don't know, UNC didn't feel right to me. Their campus set out, set up was really far. Like it was kind of, it was a lot bigger than I think I wanted. But also I was touring and it was like, I think it was a Thursday or Friday afternoon. And there was like no one on campus, like no one to be seen. And someone told me that a lot of the students actually end up going home on the weekends at UNC. And that is definitely not what I wanted because I couldn't go home on the weekends, obviously. So yeah, I kind of wanted people to stay on campus. So I was kind of looking for that and really just didn't 
and it wasn't the right fit for me. It showed like mountains a ton in the brochures and then the mountains were like 40 minutes away and I was like, if I wanna be this far away, I wanna be closer to the mountains. And I'm very glad I got to visit because I think I would have committed there if I didn't get to visit. All right guys, so that's kind of why I chose CMU. I really love it here and if you are thinking about applying, you definitely should. Anyway, so that's all I got for you guys. Uh, see you guys later.